In 1986, under the direction of music therapist Celeste Keith, Southside Art Center created their first performing arts program. Initially, the studios offered included creative movement, chorus, music composition, guitar, and an instrumental ensemble. With the addition of writer and poet Colin Smith, creative writing and poetry classes were also added to Southside's curriculum. The choral and instrumental ensembles began to perform at various community events throughout the Sacramento area. Initial performances featured simple folk and show tunes, eventually popular song material from the 60s and 70s anchored their sets. Celeste and Colin Studios joined music and writing forces and participants blended both song and written sketches that included torch songs, parodies, humorous characters, and storylines. As time moved on, the chorus performed at various company Christmas parties and holiday gatherings. This furthered the public's awareness that we had a gift to give the community. People always felt this experience enhanced the meaning of their holidays. In addition to the music, poetry was written in studios and the authors presented their works at coffee shop readings. Eventually, Southside Art Center received a grant from the Sacramento Metropolitan Arts Commission to produce a chapbook of poems. Two separate books were published and their popularity was so strong that few copies still exist. These chapbooks included many styles of poetry writings including short and long haiku poems. The creative writing classes deepen the Southside participants ability to develop and create stories. Success leads to success and once again Southside's curriculum continues to expand and eventually merged. A theater arts curriculum was born. Southside produced plays and large Broadway endeavors like The Wiz and Meet Me in St. Louis. All stage productions were standing room only and performances that were held by the public. The next adventure began with Southside Art Center receiving training in television production from Public Access Sacramento to produce television programs. Participants were taught how to operate cameras, construct sets, and create lighting. Over the course of one year, Southside produced five one half hour programs, which aired for several years. The current Southside Ensemble began as a drumming group that morphed into a rap group and eventually evolved into the rock and roll band that you see now. They are only one of two groups to our knowledge that feature music played and performed entirely by people with developmental disabilities without pre-taped soundtracks or other enhancements. Being a part of the band means I can do 
get to play music with my friends. Oh man, it, it, it means that I get to play with others and uh, help make them sound good and, and bring strength to the music. It means a whole lot to me. It really, really does. My musical goals are for the band to play at bigger venues. My musical goals are to help the band with timing and um, learning uh, learning bass lines. I want to be a better singer. I really do. I want to sing better. <laughs> My musical is like playing drum and all that stuff and singing with, sing with drum. Yeah, I'm thinking of playing the guitar. Yes, I do. I enjoy very much performing. I, I could perform in front of a thousand people. Absolutely. I love it. <laughs> song is I Just Called by Stevie Wonder. The South Side Rock. I don't have a favorite. I love them all. Let it be by the piano. I believe I can fly. <laughs> Since the day I started working at Southside Art Center, I knew way deep down inside that I had finally found the job of my dreams. You can do so much more than just art in this place. You can make music. You can write anything you want on the computer. Do what you feel. Do what you like. Southside has exactly what you need and a whole lot more. You've come to the right place. All you have to do is just be yourself. You're not alone anymore. That's all you need to know right now.